What is up guys? Welcome to the studio. So good to have you here with me. Check out my sweet new t-shirt. I got this from Old Forge Creations, another Instagram or YouTube. Let's see what it is. Today, we have a very exciting kiln unloading for you. So this whole kiln is full. Cheers. And I'm really excited about this kiln because I have a bunch of testers in here. So I decided that I looked at all my colors that I had and there were a few that I wanted. Like I have really good blues, I have really good greens, I have good browns and like earth colors. <sighs> Pink and purple I really like, but what I really wanted was a red. So their Mako has a bright red gloss and I wanted like a cool bluish, greenish, drippy over top of a really bright red. So I have like five different tests in here on that, uh, as well as bowls and mugs and just lots of stuff that will be available for sale in our next restock, which is February 7th at 6 p.m. if you guys wanna grab any of these pots or any of a bunch of pots we'll have. Probably be our biggest one yet, because it'll be like a month and a half of pots that we've been prepping for, so. We have some super exciting things coming along. So, without further ado, let's open this kiln and check it out. I could have actually unloaded this kiln yesterday and it took all my willpower that I have inside myself to wait so that I could actually film it and show it to you guys. Let's do it. In the top of this, or maybe it doesn't. What is it, what's better? I can't tell. Maybe this. So on the top I have these recycled glass coasters. And I had I did a batch of these in one of my last kiln unloadings and like literally they all broke. I threw 10 of them away. And I think it was because I used this really thick glass. I also did it on B clay instead of buff sonar, but these look super good. So that's exciting. You can tell kind of like if they're broken because if you like just like twist them a little and you can hear them like kuk, kuk, kuk. but no, these are perfect. I haven't done those in a while, but I want to do more of those this year. They really, they really work well to fill the kiln space. There's a bunch more of those. So, first red tester is this one. So this is the bright red gloss over midnight rain. God, I cannot tell. It's totally unprofessional of me as a professional YouTuber to keep switching the lighting on you, but I just can't tell what's better. So it's okay. Not really what I'm going for. It's a little too dark, little, just kind of like, eh, eh. Um, But this one, so this was bright red gloss over midnight rain over winter wood, which I think this has a lot of potential. This is really cool. There's some really cool micro crystals in there. So that means it'd be really good slow cooled too. Uh, you can't see the red a ton, but I think I could get it so that you could. Oh, this was another tester that I really love. Holy smoker. So this is satin patina and winter wood, which Normally it would just look like this, right? But this has another glaze on top of it, which is Aurora Green. So that is super cool. I love it. These are Minnesota mugs headed to the coffee shop, Mocha Monkey, because we're we have we've been sold out of Minnesota mugs since like probably December 24th. So that's going on like a month. Longest stretch that we haven't had Minnesota mugs since I don't know when, but I just haven't been able to make them. So some more Minnesota mugs. Aurora Green, that's one of my fave combos these days. Love it. All right, here's just a straight winter wood Minnesota mug. People request those. Love that combo. Aurora Green over winter wood. That's what our my whole kitchen set in my kitchen is Aurora Green over winter wood. So that's what we use every day. And then here's some, so if you'll notice, if you follow all my glazing and stuff, Midnight Rain over winter wood, that's what this is but you can really change it up how much crystals you put on the top and that changes a lot how it looks. So this is when you don't put really any crystals on it. It just comes out like a nice blue, predictable and just a good consistent glaze. This is Norse blue over winter wood. And I really I tend to like that winter wood on bee clay better. But those will be nice at the coffee shop finally to have some more Minnesota mugs. Okay, so we got the red testers. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Look at this planter. So, Aurora Green, Norse Blue, and Sandstone. Really nice planter. Look at the inside of that. That's wow. Wow. That's really cool. Okay, so here are the red testers. Huh, this is cool. So this is Robin's Egg with bright red on top as is this, I think, but this is just dip. This is like crystals loaded on there. So that's nice. Good little, same thing with that. Nice, I like them. 
I like them. So these were all, these all had tiny little S or S cracks in the bottom, if you can see that. So I don't like to sell those, even though they're they're sealed and they will hold water just fine. I don't sell them if they have a little crack in the bottom, just cause you never know, this clay may not, not be sealed. So I use them as little tester glazes and then I'll just like give them away or use them or sell them as seconds or something. Those are cool, I'm happy with that. What do you think of this one? So this is Robin's egg with the red gloss on top. Cool, there's lots to be excited about here. Lots to be excited about. I love, I love when I have an idea and you start to get a little, little progress on your idea. This is Midnight Rain over Winterwood, always a fave. And then there's a bunch of these bowls in here which are absolutely Gorgeous. Little spiral bowl action is kind of what I was after. Those are nice and really light. I have to say my growing skills have gotten pretty good over the years. All right, here's some, some candle warmers, mug warmers. That'll be up for sale. That's what I'm using right now. My patented design. It's still hot. So in here we got a bunch of those same bowls. Man, oh man, those are awesome. They're so cool. Got a bunch of them. Spiral action, there's like this purpley. I love them. Love them so much. And then we have, so here's some more of the mug warmer designs. This had, these have a little like spiral, not spiral, I don't know what you call them, ridge action on the top. You know, that satin patina. Got a few more of those. Ooh. Ah, uh, and then in here, those are so awesome. Awesome, awesome, beautiful. So this is Aurora Green and Norse Blue over Sandstone. The last one that we have is this metallic Midnight Rain over Winterwood. So that's when you really load, that's the difference between like these two, same glaze, different clay body and different application. So this one has the crystals really loaded on the top. So it melts down and it creates this metallic effect and this one just dips straight in. So that's what I love about the Mako crystal glazes is you can, it's like having multiple different glazes within each glaze and they kind of look similar, but the how, depending on how you put them on, they look different. Like, like these two are the same. This one just has a bunch of crystals loaded on top from the Robin's egg and this one does not. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, that's all that's in here is a bunch more of these mugs and a bunch more of these mugs. All right, now I'm just gonna count them up. Okay, so there were 71 pots in this kiln, which I don't think I've ever gotten up. This kiln over 70, I could look back, but I'm not 100% sure. So 71 pots. This is how I keep track of how many pots I do for the year. 71 came out of the papa kiln. I call that the papa kiln, that's the mama kiln, and then we may get a baby kiln at some point, which would be like our little tester kiln. So that brings our total for January of this year to 269. Last year, our 2020 pots, we did 3,618. Last year, January, we did 391. That's a lot. That was my, or I had 424 was my best month, June, July of last year. So we're getting rid of that. We're at a pretty good clip. I'll probably only get like one or two more glaze kilns done this, but we'll be over 300. That's really all I, that's really my goal. When I, if I don't have any help in here, if I have like an intern or something, like last year I had an intern for the summer and this year I'll probably have another intern for the summer. Then I should probably try and get to four or 500. But if it's just me, three, 400, that range is good. This tester, I think what I need to do now is do winter wood, midnight rain, and then red gloss on the whole thing. Okay guys, so this is John in the future and I'm just editing this video and I wanted to give you guys a little update on my my search for a red, the hunt for red January. Get it? Like the hunt for red October? Bad joke. So I've done I think three or two kilns since I unloaded this kiln and the next one I tried that Midnight Rain and Winter Wood with red and it came out like this and I was really pumped about it. So I really liked that. So then, that's kind of my process, then I went to mug. And these turned out really cool. So this is kind of a little spiral action 
with Winterwood, Midnight Rain, and Bright Red Gloss. So these, I have four of these, they'll be available. So they're the first of the red. Uh, I'm sure I'll do much more red after a few more pieces done. But so far, I'm pretty happy with that. What do you think? What do you guys think of that red? Is it worth it? Should I keep going? What does it need more of? Anyway, I spent uh, the majority of today taking pictures for the restock and there is some sweet, sweet stuff. So got it all out right here. I got 14 different Insanity mugs. The Insanity mugs are awesome. This is the most Insanity mugs I've ever had and some of the best too, so. Okay, back to past John. All right, if you guys haven't already, I would appreciate the subscribe. Hit that like button as always, and we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.